He finna get a lawsuit tomorrow. <laughs> what up? It's your boy Stunner Reese, and I'm back with another video, man. So today, y'all, man, we got some super special, man, that we want to show y'all, man. And uh, yeah, but before we get into that, man, definitely hit that like button. Definitely, man, we need y'all to get back on them likes, man. Yeah, the likes are still down in the 700s, man, when they should be over a 1,000 every video. Also, don't forget, man, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed to your boy Stunner Reese, man, I am the realest dude on YouTube. I show you my real life every day. No fake, no phony shit, yeah. All facts, no cap. But today, man, we are starting off with a pretty decent day, man. Rather cloudy, but it, the temperature is really nice out here in Miami, man. And uh, you can see the water. You can see the sky. You can see blue. But yeah, over here, it's definitely a lot more gray. And I don't know what it's going to be, but it is supposed to start getting into the 80s, I think, tomorrow. And today, we in like the mid-70s. But yeah, it's going to be getting a little hotter even starting tomorrow, man. But man, guys... I've been having some issues, man. I had a package that was supposed to come in yesterday, according to the USPS, man. It says that it was delivered, and it is not here. I looked everywhere. I looked in the mail room, looked on the mailbox, looked everywhere, and I cannot find my damn package. I am pissed, y'all. This was a custom one-off piece that was made for me, and I don't have it, and I'm mad. Yeah, but also, that is not the only issue that I had with something guys y'all know that i told y'all i had got some pieces and i was waiting on partial of them well guys i found out that hold on let me show y'all the package had came in but they had put on it return to sender it had all my information everything was on here on my label but yeah they got return to sender so what the hell is going on with that well i ended up finding of course so now I can finally reveal to y'all, you know what I'm saying, what it was. Now, before I show y'all what it was, man, definitely, man, make sure y'all check out this Galati black fit that I got on right now. Yeah, that's that Galati, Galachi. Yeah, that's the Galachi with the little man. Well, not a man, but the little, I don't know what that is. I think it's like a lion, something. But yeah, also, on the back, we got... And on the sleeve, we got the little Galachi emblem. Hopefully, y'all can see it. Hopefully, y'all can see that. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, and it's on the back, too. But nevertheless, man, boom. My new sheets and rug came in. And, yeah, drop in the comments. Tell me what y'all think, man. Y'all already know I had to put on a fit to kind of go with it. You feel me? And the J. Yeah, you all know. The reason that I got this is because of my canvas that my boy Solid Whips made for me. I think that it definitely plays with this a whole lot better than the black and gray setup I had previously does. So, yeah. And y'all know black and gold is my colors. Gold is definitely my favorite out of all the jewelry colors. And it also goes with my black and gold Hellcat sign. Better with the sky vibe layer. So, y'all drop in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. I definitely think it's an L, but you know what I'm saying? Not an L. I think it's a W. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, but but it is what it is, man. I, I really like it. I like the vibe of it, you know what I'm saying? And the black, the gold, the red, you know what I'm saying, that was on Kavari. Um, Y'all see, it's got the red glow under the bed that brings it and ties it all into it, man. I just like the coordination of it, so... Yeah, definitely a W for me, man. I'm loving it. All right, but man, we got this video today, man. It's sponsored by my good people over that has shipped me something that I definitely, definitely needed. <laughs> and uh, we're about to get into that, man, review on this product, man. I want to get it done early in the video and maybe possibly even uh, test it out as well and get y'all some test out footage of it in the video. But yeah, gang. We have got another drone, man, by Venix. 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 Hold on, I'm trying to get my damn camera. Yeah, there it is right there, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Venix, they sent me this drone. They want me to try it out and test it out. So, yeah, guys, y'all know my DJI 
is uh gone. <laughs> I don't know where it's at right now, really, but we're not even gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about this one. Yep. So yeah, gang, we're about to get into this. I gotta see if I got an SD card, because I'm gonna need an SD card to actually make it work. So yeah, let me try to track down the SD card. We're gonna switch cameras over to this. Yeah, we're gonna go on to the pocket three, and I'll holler at y'all in a minute. Let's get it, y'all. All right, gang, so your boy Stunner Reese, man, is proud to be reviewing this product, man. Shout out to my people. Chloe from Ruku for sending me over the Phoenix drone, guys. So I actually have to use my iPhone because I actually have to take the SD card out of my Pocket 3 so that I can do this review for you guys because I don't feel like going 30 minutes away to get a SD card for this right now. So I'm going to just do the one that I already have. So yeah. But yeah, again, we're going to improvise. We're going to make things happen, man. But let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. Um, guys, this drone, of course, has all the same features of all the major brand drone, uh, drones. It, it, it is uh, definitely going to be a good review on this one. And y'all know we need this right now. Yeah, so this came right on time. So let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. So we can go over the features and benefits. Now it does have a 4K camera, has a steady di di it has a steady digital image transitions, extended flight time, two axis gimbal, EIS anti-shake mode. Yeah, so yeah, those are some of the features and benefits right there. And there is plenty, plenty more where that came from. Inside the box, we got another plastic container which seems to have a big case to hold the drone inside, which is good. You always want to have a case to protect your equipment. And this is a nice case, real sturdy, has a handle, nice blue color. Vinks right there on the front. Has a nice material too, almost like a faux jean material. If you open it up, has a uh, mesh material here with zippers on the side. I'm pretty sure this is uh, for some additional storage and things like that. Uh, right off the back, I see we got some extra propellers, your cords. More cords, more cords, user's manual, flight guide, safety disclaimer. And something in here, I don't know what it is, maybe like a little, I don't know what it is, something in this little bag. I'll open it up in a second. Then we take off the little styrofoam cover here and that opens it up to a nicely packaged drone and remote inside of the case. So we're going to remove the drone. Phoenix. All right, that's nice and snug in there and that's exactly what you want. You don't want your drone slouching around inside being able to get the damage uh, to it. It has a nice amount of protectiveness around the actual drone. You see, uh, yeah, it's about an inch, you know, at the highest point on each side uh, around the drone. So you definitely want that. So that it's uh, got a lot of protection. Has a little 
case right here that goes over the propeller spindles so that it keeps it nice and straight so they're not flopping around inside of the actual case as well. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. See how it looks open. Let's see, make sure I'm doing it correctly. button or something maybe hold on let me hold on one second before I do that all right I'll have to come back to that because I want to make sure I ain't breaking nothing but let me go ahead and unbox the rest of the stuff right here we got our remote nice feels nice feels comparable to all of the other major drones got the extender which uh, actually holds your phone in place as you fly now with this drone you actually use your phone to actually fly the drone and that'll be your monitor to show you exactly what you are seeing that the drone is capturing looks like we also have what looks like either the charger or an additional battery one of the two No, it's an additional battery, so that gives you plenty more flight time. And that's definitely what you want. Sometimes the worst thing is when you have a full charger, everything's ready to go, and then you fly your drone, and then the battery's dead, and you can't capture no more images. So having that extra battery is definitely a plus. All right, so let's go through and just take a quick look through the user's manual. But yes, that's how the case looks empty. So obviously, one of the first things we're going to want to do is get this thing charged up so that we can actually get some flight time going on it. So we got to find out exactly what we need to do that. But yeah, it has a full owner's manual and everything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into finding out what we got to do to get this thing set up. And then I'll be right back with y'all. Let's get it, y'all. All right, gang, so your boy Stone Reese, man, has got this thing finally situated to a point where I can kind of show y'all exactly what's going on, man. So I actually got the controller hooked up to my Android phone, and to power it on is simple as heck. All you do is hit this button once, and then hold it for three seconds, and then it shows you that the power is on. So that's a really, really simple way so that they can um, get your remote connected. Now you just simply download the Phoenix app to your smartphone or your Apple iPhone, either one. Once you got the controller on, you want to simply press the button on the actual drone. And then the remote will connect to the actual drone. Once the drone has connected, it'll let you know that it is connected on the screen. Once it's connected, then you're gonna basically just simply hit the controls button right there at the top. It'll let you know when it goes into GPS mode. Now you have the option of flying it in GPS mode or Addy mode. Addy mode is where you don't need GPS. If you're flying it like indoors or something, then you don't need GPS because it's not gonna get the GPS through the walls and stuff anyway. So, but once you got it connected, it'll let you know the actual drone will start flashing white and purple ish color at the bottom that'll let you know that it's connected but it is not ready to fly before you get ready to fly you got to hit the control button first flight it'll go to select an obstacle free whole, open area for flying like video the drone. let me know what to do to to get it actually connect and see a flashing light indicates the drone is power on preparing the remote it takes you through the whole process, guys, and exactly how to assemble the remote and everything right here on the screen. 
Yeah. I've watched it a couple of times, so I uh, know exactly how to do it because I've already did it. Yeah. GPS mode. Now, once you get everything connected, it's going to tell you to actually calibrate the drone. To, you basically just follow the instructions that's on the remote. The first thing you have to do is you have to turn the drone. It'll let you know. Then it'll turn from spinning sideways to you have to spin it up and down. So once you spin it up and down, then you'll see the actual landing gear turn blue that lets you know that it is ready to fly from that point once you set it down once you set it on the ground on your screen it'll show you exactly what the drone is seeing and everything also right now currently it's in gps mode well i'm indoors so i definitely don't want to fly it in gps mode but we are going to turn it to adding mode by simply just pressing this button here. So it has camera mode, GPS mode, normal mode, sport mode, Now I turned it to Addy mode. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hold on. Make sure you guys see that. Right where it says, oh, it's on my face. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to show it to y'all. And the camera's on my face. But yeah, it's like Addy mode. Once it's on Addy mode, then you can actually fly indoors, guys. My Pocket 3 is so smart, it is following my face. Yeah, so um, I probably need to turn that off so that we can uh, show y'all the display of the drone. So hold on, let's go right there, exit. The... All right, yeah, we back. All right, so yeah. So I'm gonna set this right here. We are gonna get a little test light gaming. All right, gang, there you go, man. Just a little sl simple flight in the house. I don't want to do too much and have something crash or nothing, but yeah, guys, definitely seem like a good drone. We're going to take it out and maybe possibly get some more footage of it outside. So yeah, but yeah, gang, that's where we at with it. So shout out to... Roku on sending me the drone along with Chloe. Thank you so much. And uh, man, y'all stick around for the whole entire video. But definitely, I say grab you one today, man. I'm gonna definitely have the link in the description. I can't get, wait to get out and play with it some more. I got the other battery charging up. So yeah, we should be able to get some good, decent flight time. And I'm gonna bring y'all some footage, man, from the drone. All right, holla at y'all. Let's get it, y'all.
All right, gang, you guys just seen, I just took it out for a flight, man, and I think that is definitely a nice drone, guys. You can see the picture quality and everything is really good. So yeah, gang, and that's, man, that's right out the box. So yeah, definitely I'm excited that I got it. Once again, thank you to you guys for sending me the drone to review. And I definitely say it's a thumbs up. So definitely click the link in the description and grab you one today, man, for a discount on it. That's right, you get 10% off if you use my discount code. So get you one today, all right? But uh, we're about to get out in traffic. We're about to get active, man. I'll holla at y'all once we outside. Let's get it, y'all. Chop, 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 chop. Yes, sir. All right, gang, your boy Stone Reese is finally headed. Getting outside, man. Headed to Target real quick. Grab a couple things, and then I'm gonna probably head over to the beach, man. But yeah, that's what it is. So I'll holler at y'all when I get over there. All right, let's get it. Again, had to get me a new set of pillows, man. These right here is really good. I like these memory foam cool touch gel pillows. So, yeah, had to get those, and I'm also gonna get. New bathroom accessories. These things are expensive, but I'm gonna just get go ahead and get a nice one one time. All right, gang, 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 gang. Your boy Stunner Reese is back at the Miami Sky Valley, man. I finally got my new pillows inside my new pillowcases. Ooh, 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 ooh. Them things so crazy, boy. Ooh, your boy gonna get some good rest tonight, man. Also, my boy Carlos, aka Big Snow, sent me some previews over of the promo videos that he shot for me and uh yeah i'm liking it man we just got to make a couple of little small adjustments and we gonna be good is i don't know what i'm definitely liking them you know you know it's very good for his first time too y'all like just off the humbug just you know what i'm saying just doing something again he's never worked with anything other than cars ever so you know what i'm saying this is just a whole new whole new vibe for him so you know what i'm saying he he getting into the you know, getting his feet wet with something different. And that's a good thing because it's going to allow his creativity shine through on not just cars, but it'll let, let him see himself and implement his creativity in other things as well. So, yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Now, my scent for the night, man, I'm going to step out, man. I'm going to have to go with that Zamaya Sharp Blend. Yeah, we definitely going to rock this one out tonight. Hope y'all like it. Also, my dog Dula from Chicago just posted a scent, man, that I might have to try out, man. But I'm really thinking, you know what I'm saying, that I'm going to go and grab that Louis Vuitton Imagination, man. That's like one that's on my radar for sure. Also, it's a couple more Oud fit, uh, fragrances. I'm trying to kind of like get ready to transition from the winter scents and the cooler weather scents to the actual, you know, warm weather sense, the fresh sense, uh, you know, the blues and the green fresh sense. So uh, I'm holding on, man. I, I think it's two more that I want to get before I start transitioning over to those as well. So, yeah, so we definitely rocking that Shara and Blend tonight, man. I think that's going to be the one. I'm going to see, you know what I'm saying, if I get any reactions to it or anything, you know what I'm saying? And uh, just going to step out. I don't know what's going on. It's Tuesday, guys. Ain't nothing really happening tonight. I ain't really heard from the guys or nothing because I think everybody just pretty much cooling, man. You know, even though the weather is decent and uh, I just don't think there's really nothing going on. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just go see and uh, check the temperature of uh, what's going on out there over that way. Yeah. On South Beach. Yep. So, yeah. 
even victory quiet tonight is normally always busting and now is always busting but yeah right now everything is on a Yep, yep, yep. But I'm thinking about actually adding some more lights out here on the patio area, guys, and maybe even grabbing me a couple of little pieces of furniture. But I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm already been thinking about like getting me something on a higher floor. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, guys. I don't know. I like. I love this building. I love this area. I definitely don't want to move from this area. But I'm trying to see if I could possibly, maybe even in this building, go to some on a higher floor or maybe one of the other buildings with a higher floor. Yeah. So, yeah. I just I just want to be up there now. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what it is, man. But let me go ahead and uh, get up out of here, man, so I can uh, try to catch some little action on a Tuesday. Yeah. It's uh, 721 right now, so... Like I said, ain't gonna probably be too much going on, but we're gonna see, man. So, yeah, I'll holler at y'all, man, once we uh, get over there. Or once I get down the ocean, man, because I ain't seen the ocean all day either. All right, let's get it. Yeah. Hey, man, the boy Stunner Reese, man, gotta give a quick shout out to all my truck drivers, all my delivery drivers, post office, UPS, FedEx, all of the above, you know what I'm saying? DHL, everybody, you know what I'm saying? I be getting a lot of messages from, you know, guys telling me, you know, they be watching me while they on the job, you know what I'm saying? All my Uber and Lyft drivers as well. Yeah, definitely, you know, it's one of them things where I just want to, you know, let y'all know I appreciate y'all so much for show, for show, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, man, who be watching your boy on the regular, I appreciate y'all, man. But we got Ocean right here looking pretty, pretty good. I must say. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Drop in the comments. Tell me what y'all think, man. This mug looks so good when it's clean. But when it's dirty, it look like hell. Yeah. Oh, man. About to jump in this machine that's clean. And, uh, see what's up over there, man, on the other side. You know, talk to my boy Reggie today. Try to call my cousin Manny, man. Cut Manny, man. If you, you're watching this, I tried to call you a couple times, sir. Ooh, is we getting Ocean like, hey. No, I don't know, y'all. Fuel ejector car now starting. That's not a good sign. Ocean might need a fuel pump soon. It's just, just part of the deal, man. We're owning the old school, but hopefully not. But you never know. If it do, it do. You know what I'm saying? We're going to just get it fixed and keep it moving. You feel me? Ocean, that did a lot for me already, man. And I appreciate you, Ocean. Let's get these stars going, Ocean. Let's get these stars going, my boy. How I be getting in the car and don't don't know what I do with the keys, huh? How do I do that? How? How? I'm literally not finding the keys right now, y'all. Oh, keys in the ignition. Yeah. I thought I had to use my remote start. And every time I use my remote start and I hit the brake, the car cut off. My dumb ass used the keys. But anyway, we're about to plug up some music on the phone and uh, head to the other side, man. But I will holler at y'all when I get over there. And uh, yeah. But yeah, I just want to say shout out to all my people, man, who rock out with me. Make sure if you uh, are any professional field and you watch my videos, man, drop in the comments and tell me exactly what it is that you do 
when you're watching your boy Stunner Reese while you're working, man. I want to know what what other fields is out there, and if you are one of those fields, uh, let me know what you what you be doing, man, while you are uh, either and maybe even not watching it, but listening to you know what I be talking about while I'm actually uh, while y'all actually working. You know what I'm saying? Because I know you can't physically watch it while you're driving or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to get nobody in trouble. I meant listening to. All right? Not watching. Listening to. All right? <laughs> but yeah, gang. All right. I'll holler at y'all, man. All right. Peace. All right, gang. Nope. It ain't even pop up. Man. Gang. Man. Guys. I'm out here with the guys, man. Look, y'all. We right here in Winwood, man. Drone nerves. Look at all these damn drones and shit, man. They do drone repair right fucking here. My dumb ass went way far away, man. But they didn't send my shit off to actually DJI now, so it don't even matter now. But shit, still, top of everything, just was a long ass drive. But yeah, gang, that's what it is, man. But yeah, just hooked up with the guys, man. He just outside, man, down here in Winwood. I was gonna go. Across the bridge to beach, but okay. They got a cipher going on here, right here. My nigga BT, <laughs> buddy, weak as hell, weak as fuck. That nigga, nigga, the next Nas, nigga. What you talking about, nigga? <laughs> Knock it off. This shit down here light too. Everywhere light, G. Everywhere light. It ain't really shit popping off nowhere right now. It's like I told y'all earlier, man. It's just a Tuesday. Motherfuckers really ain't really ain't outside popping just yet. Until like next weekend of the month. Oh yeah, he just told me Travis Scott gonna be here. You already know that nigga gonna bring the weirdos out. Here yeah, we got spring break. Then spring break, right after. Yeah. Plus we got car shit going on too, so it's about to be major motion picture. Yep, yep. All right, I'll holler at y'all though in a minute though. All right, gang man, your boy Stunnery's just picked up something from down here in Winwood. I'm gonna have to show it to y'all when I get back to the crib, man. But. Man, it's dry to that bitch down here. It's overly dry. Overly dry? Yeah. That's not the sight. I think I really mute. Look at this bitch. Not really. Well, well. This bitch is tight, bro. This bitch is kind like $7. Ooh. $7? Basement, bro. Yeah. What the fuck? Right in the basement. Right there. Right there. That bitch is a mirror. A Murray. A Murray. A Murray. Is that a Murray? Yeah, that's definitely a Murray. $7 of Mary's. Yeah, man, y'all see. Got ocean over there. Yeah, yeah, bro. Let me see, bro. Where you find this at, though? Facebook. They asked Cap or Lackin. They can get a lawsuit tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Fool of Mary. Fool Mary's. I'm Fool Mary's. Yeah, they definitely on that. Uh, That's that All right, man, we're going to try this spot right here, man. La Sandwich. See what's to it. All right, I'll holler at y'all right here. See, let's see what they got going. Alright gang, so your boy Stunner Reese man is headed across the bridge, man. 
it was dry as fuck over there in Wynwood. I ain't gonna cap y'all down, man. It wasn't nothing going on. Well, it was some stuff going on, but y'all couldn't have seen it on camera, but nevertheless. I'm gonna head across the bridge real quick, man, just to see what's going on over there. It's about 10 o'clock at night on a Tuesday, so I don't expect much, but you never know, man, what we catch, so. You feel me? I just, I don't feel like going in the house, man. Your boy Stenner has been in the house pretty much the whole entire day, and now I am ready to get out and see what's, what's popping, if, if anything. Probably ain't much, nothing, but shit. I should've probably been out earlier, but it is what it is, man. But yeah, gang, I'll holler at y'all, man, when I uh, get over across the bridge, man. We're gonna just vibe out, man. I'll holler at y'all, let's get it, y'all. Darian Harris became a free man. He spent 12 years behind bars for a murder he didn't commit. He was cleared after it was discovered that the man, the main eyewitness, is legally blind. Yeah, I worked this shit for Khalif, man, you know, man. People don't understand the struggle and shit we go through in these jails, but I'm finna tell y'all, you know? Look. I'm fine, demon. I got these visions of me laying on the semen. All the cops stand over me, watching me bleeding my life, leaving. Then I take my last breath and I see that my mama grieving. She got me tweaking. I'm fine, demon. I got these visions of me laying on the semen. Why the cops stand over me, watching me bleed on my life, leaving? I take my last breath and I see that my mama grieving. She got me tweaking. I wrote this song for Kylie, cause I'm familiar with that pain. I'm feeling like I can't relate, cause I done been through all them things. All them dark and lonely days to make a nigga turn insane. How you searching for escaping since we falling like it's rain? Remember staring at the clouds, hoping France don't want to piss. While alone up in that cage, I'm feeling like nobody cares. I even screamed in the air. Hoping friends, someone here Punching walls until they red and find demons in that mirror Shit piss up in that cup, you play them games and you get sprayed with sick and niggas for they food and robber workers for them trade That's this month in NRC was the longest of my day 24 hours in the cellar, turn your mind into a maze Like no lie, man that chicken brag a nigga After that got sent to Max Pontiac with crazy niggas Mentally unstable niggas, dangerous and ravers niggas All the bitches hella racist, man I knew they hated niggas Started popping painkillers, started taking Different drugs, psychotropic medications just to make a nigga numb. Shit, I make a nigga dumb. Turn you to a vegetable. Shake down, script searches, spot and raise your testicles. Disrespect the sentinel. It be hard to let it go. Feeling like you fucking helpless, turn you cold like Eskimos. Let me tell you about the story when I was pulling with a ten stone. Then a nigga got the news that he ain't never coming home. Same day he was cool. Even happy and full of hope. Then his cell, he tested him. Now that fell a horror show. Rode him out to medical. Man, that nigga death for show. I can sit behind these walls that I think the world should know. But nobody really knows. But Khalif, he knew it well. I wish they got Khalif. They helped before he went and killed himself. Damn, they lost my fucking mind. All those kind of people gave me 76. That's almost 80. How the fuck that angle face me? How my fucking head twisted. Almost got me shifted distant. Cause as soon as they pass that sentence, no more letters, no more visits. Feds labeled me a minute. So the judge and now my bell, I want to slip my wrist right now. But I got a sturdy tail up. I'm fine, demon. I got these visions of me laying on the semen. Why the cops stand over me, watching me bleed in my life, leaving. And I take my last breath and I see that my mama grieving. She got me tweaking. What if you was like demons? But imagine yourself laying on that semen. Why the cops stand over you, watching you bleeding, your life leaving. And you take your last breath and you see that your mama grieving. Shy, you tweaking. I'm demon. So that is the moment tonight when Derek. All right, gang, g -g gang, g -g gang, g -g gang, gang, gang. Your boy Stunner Reese has made it back to the Miami Sky Vibe Lair, man. And guys, man, I got a surprise for y'all. I want to show y'all. Yes, yes, yes. And I told y'all while I was out with the guys, man, I had just picked up some. I'm going to show y'all that too, man. But guys, man, I think this right here, what I'm about to show y'all is definitely, definitely dope, man. I was in a little shop in Wynwood and I seen something, man, and I picked it up. I was like, man, I got to grab that, man, because it goes so dope with Ocean, man. Y'all already know spring break coming up. You know what I'm saying? And you got to have your, you know what I'm saying, your whole situations and scenarios coming together. You know what I'm saying? If you're out and about, you know what I'm saying? It's just period, man. But 
Man, I picked up this, man, and I got to show y'all this, man. Ooh, 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 ooh. I hope y'all like it, man. Ooh. Yes, uh, nice little hat right here. Now, this is a designer hat. Very nice, man. It's just a trucker hat, but you know what I'm saying? It's dope. It's got the skulls on the side. Say bossy in the front. Got the little bossy tag right there. Um, yeah. Dope hat, man. Dope hat. I like it a lot. Skull trucker hat. Baby blue. Yeah. Dope hat, man. I like it. I think it looked real good, especially with Ocean. I was like, man, that is definitely, you know what I'm saying, be a nice little uh, pickup, you know what I'm saying, whether it's with a white tee with a J, you know, some, some white ones, some jeans or shorts, you know what I'm saying, just a nice little, you know, going to bring a whole little vibe, you know, together with, you know what I'm saying, everything. That's just my opinion, man. But what's crazy is I got another notification that the other package that I've been telling y'all about finally came in as well, man. And I got to show y'all that. Yeah, definitely got to show y'all that. So, yeah. Y'all with me? Y'all with me? This right here, I think is raw as hell. I like it. Matter of fact, I don't like it. I don't just like it. I love it. And uh, it came out dope. There was a website called Fans Ideas or something like that. And it has a lot of different selections of different things that you can kind of, you know, take their template and then add your own customizations to it. And I like did it just to see, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm just that type of person, you know what I'm saying? I like stuff that's different. I had never seen anything like this before. So I was like, man, let me go ahead and try it, man. So. It took about a month for it to come, uh, and I thought I wasn't going to get it, actually. But let me grab my hat, because my hat actually, man, it's crazy, but the hat actually goes right with it, man. So let me go ahead and grab it and show y'all exactly what I got, man. Uh, 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 uh. I think this is so dope. Kind of like a varsity jacket, but it's almost like a cashmere material. It's, man, feels so good. It's got like the print on it. Probably can't see it the best in the lighting conditions right here, but. Take y'all right here. Y'all probably can see a little bit better. I'm right here, but hey buddy, I'm right here. <laughs> But yeah, but yeah, gang, that's the hat. But yeah, check the jacket out, y'all. And I had the Lottie put on it in the one. It's got the blues with the, you know, yellowish golds. So raw looking to me. I like it. And then on the back, we put a stunner back there. We'll hit the one. You already know, number one stunner. Hard. That's, man, that's, that's tough to me, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but I like it. And, you know, of course, Miami ain't got a whole lot of seasons or times you can wear something like this but this boy go crazy to me it's just my personal opinion i like it got the inside pocket pockets right here and of course you know some gel look good with this white tee underneath it white ones be righteous for sure for sure
Got the whole varsity jacket feel to it. You know what I'm saying? Let me throw the hat on with it. Nice little shades. What y'all think, man? What y'all think? Nice little blue jeans. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Definitely, definitely, I feel like this this whole thing. And it's just crazy that I just happened to just pick up the hat. And I didn't even know that the color of this was going to be exactly what it was. I just picked up the hat anyway because I wanted it when I saw it. And it all came together like today, which is crazy. So uh, the blues might be off just a, a little bit, but I mean, for overall, I think it still looks decent. You know what I'm saying? Y'all drop in the comments and tell me what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? But, um, and then, you know, tell me what y'all like about the, if y'all like the hat period or if y'all like the jacket period separate. You know what I'm saying? Or if you don't like something, let me know, man. But like I said, I put my brand name right here on the front, Galati, and I put Sun on the back. And like I said, it's going to kind of like rock out with Ocean a little bit. You know what I'm saying? If we end up getting any cool days, It'll be straight, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, for real, for real, it's about to start being in the 80s. But maybe at night I can still pop out with it a little bit, man, man at nighttime or something. You know what I'm saying? One time for the one time, get a wear out of it or something. But for the most part, yeah, down here it ain't, it ain't really like that. <laughs> but, yeah, gang. Uh, yeah, but I, I just been waiting on this for a long time. I actually thought... The package was lost because it said that it was delivered yesterday. When I came in tonight, looked at my mailbox, and it was in there. I'm like, why did it say it was delivered yesterday? So I actually had to, because the company I had actually reported that it didn't, it didn't come. And I actually had to email back them and let them know it did come. So, yeah. But it wasn't my fault, man, because it, it said it was delivered yesterday. And I've been checking all day. I checked all before I left, and it was not there. So, you know what I'm saying? I had, at that point, I was upset, mad. But, yeah, when I came back tonight, it was it was in the mailbox. So, I'm grateful and gracious that it was. And, uh, man, I, I really, really like the jacket. I really like the jacket. I hope you guys like it, too. But, yeah, definitely dope. So... Another thing, guys, is your boy Stunner Reese also attempted to buy a car today that I thought <laughs> was uh, going to still be available. But unfortunately, somebody put a deposit down on it. So if they don't come and get it by tomorrow, then supposedly I can buy it. But if I if I don't get that one, then I got I got a lot of stuff going on, man. Your boy Stunnery is gonna probably end up having to, I don't know, maybe rent a truck, going to get my trailer, like rent, like literally rent a truck for a couple days, two, three days, and go get my trailer and like just go on a hunt. You know what I'm saying? To find something, maybe not like right here in the area, you know what I'm saying? And, and man, get to it because, guys, I, I literally don't know what to do. So, this is definitely all making me know that I got to go ahead and get Vino back up and running. And also, I have to... Um, you know what I'm saying? Get Vino down here so I can have my trailer and, uh, you know, and I can adjust my schedule. So when I need to take care of something, I like in this instant, I'm not like short. And even if something's like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, or an hour away, you know, at this point in time, I got to drive ocean there, see the vehicle, 
then either drive Ocean back or drive Ocean to my storage facility and then take an Uber to go back to wherever the car is and then, uh, you know, and then drive that car back if I'm, and this is all, of course, if I'm by myself. Now, if I got somebody with me who has a driver's license, I mean, I technically could, you know, just take the title and drive it straight to my storage unit and possibly be good, you know, with the bill of sale as well. But, you know, um, that's going to be, you know, all dependent upon if I have somebody with me that can legally drive and, you know, and all of that stuff. And then I have to I either trust that person to either drive the new car or to drive Ocean. You know what I'm saying? So it's like still all in all a headache compared to if, you know what I'm saying, I just had my truck and trailer and I could do what I need to do as I need to do it, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have none of those type of issues going on at all. So, yeah, it's a little bit of an inconvenience. Well, not a little bit. It's a lot of bit of inconvenience not having big dog Vino down here. So, guys, one of the things that I'm going to do as soon as I get this, this situation taken care of with getting the next vehicle is... Uh, getting Vino situated. Now, I got a big question for y'all. Now, I definitely need y'all in the comments on this, and this is mainly for the people who do enter my uh, giveaways. Now, I want to ask y'all, would you guys be interested in any vehicles that's not old schools? Like, would you be interested in stuff like modern SUVs? Would you be interested in like forms? Would you be interested in like what other type of vehicles besides old schools, body on frame, old schools, you know, A bodies, B bodies, G bodies, uh, vehicles, you know, uh, stuff, uh, scat packs and, you know, the SRT stuff. What other type of vehicles would you guys possibly possibly be interested in that's what i want you guys to let me know in the comments is there anything besides old schools that might be something that you might get, be interested in now here's the thing this is only for the people who enter the giveaways if you don't enter the giveaways then I, you know i mean I, I i understand but you know if you're not going to enter anyway it don't really you know, at that point, it really doesn't matter too much. Uh, or if there's a car that, if it was this type of car, you would start entering it, then you could you could actually put it. But if you just don't have no plans of uh, entering it, then I mean, you know, you really, really, if in this situation, you guys can uh, fall back on the comments as far as that goes. All right, um, but no, I, I definitely appreciate y'all. But yeah, man, I just wanted to um, also, you know what I'm saying, just put that out there. I do definitely do appreciate everybody who purchases my screensavers. And, um, you know, if you guys, once again, uh, I didn't get any emails in reference to people who didn't receive theirs yet. But if you guys never received your email, your screensavers, please shoot me a DM on Instagram or, you know, uh, message me on Facebook or something and let me know, drop your email and let me know that you never received your uh, screensaver. I have had people send them out, but, I, you know, just in case you didn't get yours, just for any reason, uh, definitely let me know. Like I said, I have not gotten one email from anybody saying that they didn't, but if you haven't, Please let me know because I want to make sure that you guys are all getting your screensavers uh, for your uh, giveaway. All right. Now, also, man, I want to just say real quick, man, shout out to my dog, King Chucky. You guys just heard his song. Now, King Chucky is the young man who actually did 12 and a half years in jail, uh, wrongfully accused, and he 
actually is free now out here in Miami. He was just with us tonight, man. And I told him, I said, man, send me your song and let me, you know what I'm saying, you know, play it in the video. So that song that y'all heard in the B-roll part of this video, yeah, that was him. So yeah, man, definitely check him out. He is uh, down here trying to make it, you know what I'm saying? You know, unfortunately, um, even in the situation where he went through what he went through, you know, he still got to, you know, move on with his life and, and endure things and, and you know, uh, you know, make things happen. So definitely, guys, I'm going to put his GoFundMe in the description. He asked me to do that. So I'll put it in there for him if anybody wants to contribute to his cause and things like that feel free you know what i'm saying um yeah so just wanted to let y'all know that man that young man he's out here and he's back on the streets man trying to live a positive prosperous life now you know what i'm saying and um he had a lot of years of his life his young young man life taken away from him wrongfully and you know how many people can we say that may be in a similar situation and that can happen to any anybody you know what i'm saying and unfortunately sometimes the system doesn't work for our favor you know and that's just the truth of the matter so you know that young man he hey you know he he dealing with it though he dealing with it so yeah but Man, I, um, I just think that, uh, you know, as long as he stays focused, he'll be all right out here. He'll be all right, you know. And, uh, you know, God got him. God got him. It was God's destiny for him to get out and actually to, uh, you know, spread his word, you know what I'm saying, through, uh, through, through his voice. So, yeah, so. He needed to take that talent, that God-given talent, that chance, and utilize it and make sure that, you know, he pushing out positivity and helping people who might be in his similar situation, similar situation, so that, you know, maybe that they can get themselves free in, in the same capacity. So that's very, very important. Also, my boy Snow. Like I said, he uh, got a little sneak peek of the video that he sent me. So we're going to be working on those uh, videos. Uh, I got to actually just sit down, make a little whole lot of little notes and stuff like that. I haven't got a chance to do it yet. No, I know you're probably watching the video. But yeah, I haven't got a chance to do it yet. So as soon as I get an opportunity to do that, that will be done. And uh, we don't, we're going to go ahead and finish up the, that video. And then we got more to shoot. We're going to shoot a minimum of like two more within the next week or two. So, and then after that, we'll be doing more and more and more. Like I said earlier, I got more samples coming. I got more samples coming. And yeah, we're going to, you know what I'm saying, just be knocking them out as the new stuff coming. I got the new, some new designs coming and everything so yeah just man got some female stuff coming so yeah we're gonna be just adding a lot of different stuff to the mix and uh we're just gonna keep going and going man and um like i said we also got the vintage logo tees too so if you guys have it and somebody actually put in the comments that they don't have social media a uh, direct and they were asking for a direct link to get the merch well i always put it in the uh, description of the videos guys so you guys can go right to the description of the videos or if you want to just type in your internet browser www.stunnerreesent.com either way you can go in the description of the vehicle uh, of the vehicle you can go in the description of the video and you can actually get to it through there or like i said you can just go straight through the website www.stunnerreesent.com either way it'll take you right there uh and it, then you just go to the shop page and then once you go to shop you'll see all the different merch 
and uh, apparel and all the different items that I have on there available. All right. So yeah. So yeah. Appreciate that to the fullest. I really truly do. All right. Um, but yeah, guys, that's man. That's really what's going on. Also, gotta get back to Chicago. Gotta get back to Reggie so he can finish up ski mask. And also, I am next time I go there, I'm going to be making an appointment to possibly drop off ski mask for paint as well. And of course, I am going to try to make provisions uh, to get uh, some things finished up and tidied up with Drac as well. And yeah, guys, we got to get ready for spring break here in Miami. It's about to go down. It's about to go crazy. We got some car events coming up. Easter, uh, yeah, like it's about to it's about to be crazy. You know what I'm saying? So definitely can't wait, man. Cannot wait. Uh, this weekend should be busting. We got some things going on. Matt got some things going on that she want me to come check out, and I can't wait to see what's to that. Should be fun. Should be vibrant. Should be live and lit. Also, we got car events this weekend, and we got some stuff that's we get done to Ocean this weekend as well. And also, there's another thing I didn't show y'all, man, but Ocean got a big problem, and I got to try to resolve it tomorrow. So, yeah, that's going to be part of my tomorrow's video. So, yeah, y'all got to stick around and stay tuned for that because it's always problems with Ocean. Always. But, yeah, gang. Y'all, definitely, uh, man, I, I appreciate y'all, man, dropping the comments about everything that happened today, of course, about the drone. And once again, thank you to Ruku and Chloe for sending me that drone. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to take it out and fly it again. Probably going to get some more flights on tomorrow's video. I got to adjust some of the adjustments uh, so that it can fly a little bit you know different you know it has so many different adjustments it has the tracking mode where i can actually follow you and everything so it has so many different features guys that you can take advantage of and uh, uh, once again don't forget click the link in the description and get 10 percent off of your drone if you decide to purchase one you definitely want to pick up you one of these drones because it is amazing and it flies very good and you guys saw the camera quality is excellent as well. So definitely go ahead and grab one of those, all right? And let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the drone as well, guys. Also, don't forget, man, let me know what you think about the new bed spreads and the rug setup. I wanna know what y'all think about that as well. So yeah, man, I just wanna hear from y'all. And don't forget, man, of course, to hit the like, hit the subscribe button also. If you have it, if you have it, if you have it, click the link in the description, man, and grab yourself with this Galati Black, man. This one right here is that Galachi. Yeah, this one go crazy. And I had to put this on, you know what I'm saying, with the Versace belt. Because it go with the Versace sheets, Versace rug, and you know, the Versace vibes, you feel me? So, yeah, I appreciate y'all dropping the comments. I'm a real one if you made it to this part of the video. Mine is racing on getting another car as well for this giveaway, so I can't wait to hear y'all answers on that as well, man. Uh, uh, uh. What should I get? What should I get? What should I get? What would y'all like? What? Tell me. Put it in the comments, man. Hit that like button. All right, man. Well, just like that, this video is over. Your boy Stunnelise is checking out, and I will holler at y'all on the next one. All right?